Michigan State Spartans dynasty. What's good, boys? It's the start of year three. And that also means it is senior year for a lot of our best players. Sadly, last season was Nate Carter's final year. He did win the best running back of the year award, but we need a new halfback. So the new starting running back is John Cantwell. His backup will be Hugh Schuler. These guys are both freshmen with 91 speed, 92 excel. Now, the reason I like Cantwell so much, we recruited him as a five-star. He's a stud, but he has one point in quickness that he can still upgrade. I think this takes him to 94 speed, 95 excel. He's got a ton available on elusiveness, power, IQ, so he has the highest ceiling. Now, I also took a look at Hugh Schuler. I kind of like Schuler better, but take a look at his quickness. It's already maxed out. He can't get any faster. As for the full roster, we're the highest overall we've ever been. Stanton Ramil, who returned this season, thank the Lord, is our best player. He's our right tackle. Jeremiah Hughes is an 87. Aiden Childs is now an 87 in his senior year, but when Aiden Childs leaves, we're gonna need a backup quarterback. My favorite option right now is the redshirt John Dragos that we recruited in our first season of this dynasty. Super fast. 91 speed, 88 excel. This is as a redshirt freshman, so he's still gonna sit behind Aiden Childs this year. This dude's only a two-star. The only issue is since he's a two-star, his ceiling is not very high. As you can see, all he can really do is put a point in accuracy, a few points in power, and hopefully upgrade some abilities. But it really is important to check that player card and see what they could, you know, realistically get to. So John Dragos will be a good fast option when Childs leaves, but this season I would really like to recruit a stud four or five star quarterback so that we could eventually get like a 95, maybe 96 overall quarterback on this roster. Here's a great option right here, Reggie Galladay. He's a four star gem. He's got 83 speed, but I think his ceiling is going to be a lot higher. We'll send the house on him for now and see if we can sway his decision making. Here's a scrambler four star. He's not that fast for a scrambler, but we'll keep our eyes on him. Found two more gem QBs as well. Tyler Waddy and Quandre Awe. Not interested in Michigan State right now, but that doesn't mean we're fully out of the running. 86 speed gem scrambler, 77 speed gem field gem. We'll keep our eyes peeled, but for now we've got this game against Notre Dame. Now that we're in year three, we're finally starting to see some of those freshmen actually get reps here. In the wide receiver room, Nick Marsh in his junior year with platinum tier layout. Should be an exciting season for him. Jalen Smith, also a junior. And then Antonio Gates, who now has 95 speed, is a senior. Oscar Bello. Next season's gonna be big for him. Same for Larry Church. 295 speed guys. Already really good overalls as freshmen, so I'm excited for the future of those guys. We have one more season with Paracheck, and then it's gonna be our athlete, Andrew Foss. Originally a wide receiver, converted him to tight end. A 91 speed tight end next season. That'll be exciting. Demarcus Baker is is our backup D tackle. Jeremiah Humphreys, our speed demon linebacker. He's a low overall, but excited to get him reps when I can. Emmanuel Gideon is probably like the favorite player for me that we've ever drafted. As a redshirt freshman, dude is an 83 overall with 88 speed, 88 acceleration. Gideon is like, that's my guy. I'm so excited for him. In fact, all of our linebackers are really fast now. Sophomore year for Pretzliff, 88 speed, 93 excel. We added so much speed there. The scary thing is all of my corners are seniors. Hughes, Rucker, Willie, and Coley, all seniors. So we'll have to recruit some corners this year really well. My starting free safety is a sophomore and my starting strong safety, a senior, but good backup sophomore options. That's Michigan State right now. The future is bright and our week one game is against the Fighting Irish. 86 overall is already a really good overall for the Spartans, but Notre Dame's an 89. We're gonna rock the all whites. We'll play the moments and see if we can beat Notre Dame in this season opener. Notre Dame is no joke. It's technically a rivalry game. I don't know. Maybe I'm a casual, but I don't see this as a rivalry anymore. We'll start out on defense. Where's my boy, Emmanuel Gideon? Oh! Oh, my, oh, that's a turnover! That's a turnover! Let's go! Back on defense here, and there's my boy, Emmanuel Gideon. I'm so excited to be using him. This is probably not the camera angle you want for it, but it's great defense! And Fowler's gonna get home. A big sack for the Spartans. Fourth and ten, the Spartans are going for it. Gotta be bold. I'm going parrot check! What a laser! Senior Aiden Childs is a lot better than what we started with. And I do miss Jack Vell but Parachek's a dog too. All right, John Cantwell, the freshman running back, looking to punch a ticket into the end zone here. That's an injury, Parachek. No. Andrew Foss might be getting reps a little sooner than we thought. I would love to get Cantwell in this end zone here. Let's see if we can get it on that zoomed angle. 
all the way to the edge. Notre Dame. We're not giving up on the run. This is Spartan football. Third and goal. Good blocks right there. He can't get in. One more run. Fourth and goal. And that was the easiest one we had yet. Cantwell gets in the end zone. Yards per carry, maybe not his highest stat right now, but he's looking good. And the Spartans are playing great defense. I gotta make sure that Emmanuel Gideon is my sub linebacker though, because I'm noticing that he's not getting as many reps as I'd expect him to. He should be in every single play that's possible. Yeah, right now we got Bridgman and Hall in the middle. These are nickel sets, so they're bringing in extra DBs, but there's still one true linebacker, and it's gotta be Gideon every time. Yikes, good comeback route. Number 57, soon to be a Spartan legend, I think. And her name's gotta throw it away. We'll force the field goal. Good defense. All right, two minute drill. Gotta go get a touchdown. Let's see what we're made of here. First and 10. Oh. Big blitz. I was hoping that my route would clear out, but he does not get off it. Second and 22. Is that Parachek? <gasps> Parachek's back in. That's good news. Third and 22. Not exactly the scenario you want to find yourself in against the Fighting Irish. That much is for sure, but Brennan Parachek, wait a minute. Fourth and two. The Spartans are getting ballsy. Real ballsy. The stadium is loud. Do we expect a blitz? No. I expect John Cantwell. He dropped it. He's only a freshman, Matt. He's only a freshman. Now first and goal, not a lot of time left. I don't have Gideon. I miss Emmanuel. They're gonna use a whole lot of clock here. What's Notre Dame? What? They're gonna go down, big sack. The clock is ticking. This is bold from Notre Dame. Except they are killing us with curls and comebacks. Shit. Third and five, big stop here. Down by 10 against the Fighting Irish. Nobody's home. We get a sack. Let's go. Great stop. We find ourselves in the red zone. I got to go back to the run. No need to force things. We're the Spartans. And we know how to run the football. Can't win with a broken tackle. A spin. That was huge play. Might get two touchdowns for the boy here today. Amazing blocks once again. The freshman can't well. Two touchdowns for the Spartans today. This is definitely going to be one of the toughest games this season. So if we can squeeze out a win right now, this will be beautiful. Third and five. Big down. It's a handoff. On third and five. I don't got the wheels for it. He stays on his feet. Emmanuel Gideon's the guy to make that stop, and I still couldn't make it. All right, I got the middle here with Gideon. First and 10. That's a play action. I don't see anything open in Fontana. Oh, the... <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. No way. And after two empty drives, Notre Dame's punting it back to us. We could take the lead here. That is not a good punt at all they didn't even flip the field two minutes 41 seconds we got a big big play coming up here gonna run double post oh and i would have had why i would have had gates so open but that pressure is crazy second and 19 now oh my goodness aiden childs thank you jeez they're coming in hot third and three i'm taking this to the right side just cut it up cantwell beautiful two minute warning coming up 17 to 14 there's cantwell open on the check down can we make a little move maybe a juke second and inches no complaints here we could use a little clock too no let's go inside zone to cantwell those were superb blocks. Change it to chew clock. Let's burn a little bit of this here. Notre Dame's got all three timeouts. But if we can punch this into the end zone. Honestly, perfect case scenario. I didn't want to get in the end zone right there. I wanted to burn a little bit more clock. Are we going for a hat trick, John Cantwell? I think we are, and it looks a little too easy. Notre Dame's goal line defense can't stop our run right now. Looks like the game is on the line. With 26 seconds left, we've got a four-point lead on the Fighting Irish. Away, too. Let's see what we can do with it. Uh-oh. Dude, they're, they're frying us. In this, the DBs in single coverage are just getting cooked. Five wide. He didn't use almost any clock there. 22 seconds. We want to check down. I love that. And he caught it. They got to use a timeout. Why would you not use a timeout here, Notre Dame? What are we thinking? Now they call the timeout after burning 10. Hey, it works for us. Second and four. Halfback's got a route. Throws. Oh my God, he caught that. Now they're in Hail Mary with eight seconds left. Gideon, let's make a play, buddy. He's probably going to throw left side. Sure does. We just got to make a play. Swatted, but they're going to get one more attempt. One more Hail Mary. I'm scared of this single coverage on the left side, but I think the CPU always throws Hail Mary to the right. Yeah. Good defense. Spartan defense.
defense holds on. We get a narrow victory over Notre Dame on the back of John Cantwell. Three rushing touchdowns. Battle for the megaphone. Let's get it, baby. Aiden Childs was nine for 16, 145 yards. Not super impressive. Cantwell really wasn't that impressive either. He just had a lot of touchdowns. I mean, 3.5 average is no bueno. Defense stepped up big though and, and really helped us get that win. Here's the rest of our schedule. We've got Toledo and Eastern Michigan. Should be easy games. We got a double bye week. And then it gets a little more difficult. Washington is ranked, then Northwestern, then Oregon, UCLA. We got Michigan on the schedule as always, but that'll be in next episode. So I think we got to play this game against Oregon for sure. Landed a four-star running back, Zach Stitzer. Ooh, also landed Cam Byam, four-star corner. I've been spending a lot of time on corners because I know a ton of my seniors are about to graduate. Also got a four-star right end, four-star right tackle. That was a big week. There's a four-star right outside linebacker, but a huge bummer. We missed the cutoff for Reggie Galladay, the four-star gem quarterback. He looks like he's probably going to Penn State. Once again, you know, Dragos is not bad. He's just not the guy I want. Michigan State has strung together some great games, though. A big win over Northwestern. Sadly, we did lose to our only ranked opponent so far. That was Washington, who smacked us around. But a close win over Eastern Michigan and a dominant win over Toledo has the Spartans 4-1, and 8th in the nation, taking on 7th in the nation, Oregon. This is definitely going to be a big game. Quick recruiting update. We did land the four-star corner, four-star halfback, four-star outside linebacker, and four-star right end. Still working on a few other guys just to bolster this roster, but these quarterbacks have been a nightmare. I'm out on Galladay. I mean, one of the few quarterbacks who does like us is Braden Lacey, but he's a broken gem. He's not that fast, and he's supposedly a scrambler, so I don't know how I feel about him. This is another broken gem, but it's an 85-speed, 95-excel scrambler QB. I just need a quarterback with a really high ceiling so that I can develop him, and we don't have that on the roster right now. But let's keep our eyes on the prize. We got a huge Big Ten matchup against the Oregon Ducks. They got 90 overalls everywhere on this roster. They have two 99 speed players, both corners. 99 speed, 99 excel, 90. Who the, where are they farming these motherfuckers? Oh my God. Look at these dudes. These dudes are sophomores. Their quarterback, Dante Moore, looks really solid as well. I mean, it's Oregon, right? They're always gonna have monster players. We just gotta bring our best game here. This is a huge game. It's a Big Ten game. We're both ranked for both the Big Ten championship and making the college football playoffs. I think we gotta win this game here. It might be possible to get there even if we drop this game, but let's not think like that. Let's think for the win. But first thing I gotta do is go in the depth chart and I gotta make sure that Emmanuel Gideon is my sub linebacker. I need him on the field at all times. Yep, sub linebacker right now is Samaj Bridgman. Sorry, buddy. It's gonna be all Emmanuel Gideon for the next three years. In fact, if there's one player that I'd love to develop to be one of the best players we've ever gotten, I hope it can be Emmanuel Gideon. He's impact dev trait, which is faster rate than normal, but it's not anything crazy. He's still got a lot of room for improvement, run stopping, IQ pass rush, pass coverage. He's got platinum tier road dog, but he doesn't have any physical abilities right now, so hopefully we can get a few of those on him. This dude is a freshman. Let's not forget. This dude's a freshman. I'm gonna rock the all black Spartan uniforms against the Ducks. Hey, 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 let's go Sparty! Four one-handers in the mascot costume. That can't be easy. It's a big game right here. It's a big time game. There goes the Oregon Ducks. Come on now. The all black uniforms. All right, let's just play the moments. We got to keep it fair. Let's see what we can do. John Cantwell, I want him to continue to have an awesome season. I've loved what he's done so far. We're going to kick this back out and the spin move is going to make this a really solid run. All right, we're going straight into a no huddle pass and there's an easy check down to Ben Paracek who's gonna give me seven yards. This is a good looking drive. I think we need tempo against Oregon. I don't want them getting in their sets. Hey, look at that on the far right. That's Andrew Foss. Wide receiver converted into a tight end. And I'm giving him a ball. And he caught that. That had no business working. And that's a delayed blitz right there. We gotta just hit Cantwell. Just kidding, it's Hugh Schuler. I'm hoping this is man coverage because Nick Marsh could be very open. It is man coverage. That's a really hard throw though. I think this is a blitzing DB right over Nick Marsh. It's not, that's man coverage. Yikes, that pass rush got home so fast. It was a good looking drive until it wasn't and our kicker can't make this. I think we gotta go for it. All right, really big play here on fourth and eight. Where's Schuler? Where's Schuler? Dropped. 
It's a hard catch for running backs. I throw that a little too often. Defense needs a little bit of help. I've got Hall in the middle. Crosser across my face. So much pressure and they're knocked out of range. That's a punt from the Ducks. Good work, defense. Back on defense once again, though. Doesn't look like offense could do much. We're in man coverage here. Five wide. I'm on Emmanuel Gideon guarding 18. What route do you got, 18? No! <gasps> hey! Willie! Oh, I'm gonna miss our senior corners. Nice defensive play. Spartans went and put up seven. No input from me. Nice work. Now it's third and four. We know this is a pass. He's got the check down in the middle. Can we get a tackle there? No, we can't. I missed. I was too excited to, to stop that from being a first. I'm going on Denson Jr. Here's this a run play? Sure is. We got bodies for this, though. Nice stop. Second and six. Emmanuel Gideon in the middle. It's a speed option. He fakes the pitch. Fakes the pitch. Bold move. Can't say I agree with it. Oregon loves their five wide. I'm not going to lie. It's hard to stop. Third and eight. Especially on Heisman difficulty. These QBs always make a good read. But our corners. Nice play. Oregon will get three out of this, but we can live with that. We can absolutely live with that. Maybe they won't. They won't. Two minute drill, baby. Let's get it. Don't forget about the run, Michigan State. Ooh, that was an ugly one, but it's seven yards. Let's see what kind of defense they're in. Looks like they're going to leave Schuler, but a little miscommunication on the route. It's going to give us nothing there. Third and three, big conversion. Ooh, they're just going to leave that? A juke goes nowhere, but we're still moving the ball downfield. That's what's important right now. Aiden Childs is still fast, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but so is that backer. Damn, Oregon. I swear, Oregon always has the most speed. Second and six. Ooh, right over the middle. Where are we going? Oscar Bello, the freshman. Starters must be gassed. Understandable, I am running no huddle. We got a clock to manage here, gentlemen. Let's go Paracheck. Keep it simple. Looks like they're on the opposite side of Cantwell, but I didn't throw that early enough. Oscar Bello is still in. Paracheck up the seam. I gotta step up with Aiden Childs here. Oh my God, you're fast as shit. Chill out, but Aiden Childs still makes it happen. Damn, number 10 on Oregon. Somebody drug test him, bro. You can't be that big and that fast. You shouldn't be. Another big play coming up here. Aiden Childs is out of the pocket and clean. I'm gonna motion. Ooh, Cantwell on the playmaker. We'll take that. Might have been able to get all of it right there, but I'm cool with what we got. On second and one, let's see what we can do. Paracheck on the whip route. That should be an easy first down. It sure is. No need to give Oregon any extra time if we don't have to. Let's just run this ball, see how this looks. We've got a timeout to, to burn. Good blocks. Can't well take it for just a little bit. What about Nick Marsh in that single coverage right there? Oh, he might have had him. Childs is fast, though. Aiden Childs, Aiden Childs! Senior season, prime time! Aiden Childs, send him to bed. The Spartans take a commanding lead here. It's 21 to three. We're smacking the ducks. I'm not used to this. It, this is always one of the, oh shit! Haywire pass gets intercepted. Wait a minute, settle down, Matt. This game is nowhere near over. Big end of game drive, hold on to the lead. Oh my goodness, next time we take over, it's 28 to 23. This is kind of what I meant before about Oregon's really tough. Going a whole lot of nowhere on that. Second and 12, I'm going strong halfback stretch. I definitely want the clock to keep ticking. Oh, but I want to get yards too. It's going to work. Cantwell. It's going to take about 14 yards on that. That's a big mistake by Oregon to allow that in an obvious true clock situation. Ooh, press coverage, Nick Marsh. I mean, these dudes do have 99 speed, right? Oh, yeah, they do, but Nick Marsh! Ooh, got a big size advantage on him. I was hoping we could go up and just take that. Second and 10, safety is sinking down. Can we get Cantwell on the edge? Uh-oh, Jesus. Coach wants us to run it. I understand that, but we're gonna go aggressive here. If we can pick up the first down, it's all over. If not, we're gonna have to punt this puppy away. I gotta at least have the clock chewing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Cantwell! The playmaker! A big spin! Michigan State with the biggest conversion of the game. Oh my goodness. Aiden Childs with his legs. Saving some time. That was massive. Oregon's only got one timeout left. This game is not literally... No, it is literally over, no? I'm trying to do the math here. No. It is not completely over. But we're in an incredible position to be in. And dude, the run blocks don't exist against Oregon right now. They are unbelievably bottling us right now. Gotta use as much of this clock as we can. Get our motion man set. Hand this ball off. 
and take us home, Cantwell. All right, a big field goal, make this an eight point game. Oregon technically still has a chance. Oh, oh, oh! Number one, I thought it would have chewed the clock because I'm on shoe clock. Number two, I, I bonked it. Oh my goodness, this game is not over. First and 10, they got no timeouts. They need a touchdown, but they win it off the touchdown. A sack! Worst case scenario for Oregon. They've got to go no huddle with receivers 30 yards downfield. Are they spiking it? You're going to make it third and 18? This is bold. All right, let's play over the top. I'm going to send a blitz with Hall. Definitely want to get on the QB as fast as we can. Quick throw! Damn, almost a little DPI. He's running through me. Fourth and 17. Could be all over right here. Play over top, boys. Fourth and 17. Quick throw! Jeremiah Hughes! Dude, our senior stepped up so big today. Jeremiah Hughes, Aiden Childs. That's a big win for the Spartans. We're gonna beat the Oregon Ducks and a college football playoff run is definitely in our future this season. Aiden Childs, 343 and four touchdowns. Oh yeah, dude, as with him as a senior, Nick Marsh is a senior. So it'd be an awesome season to make a national championship push. Dominated Oregon in almost every single statistical category. What a great game for the boys, dude. Childs was incredible. And on the ground, Cantwell was a lot more effective. Four and a half this time. Two rushing touchdowns for Aiden Childs. And defensively, two huge Huge interceptions out of Willie and Jeremiah Hughes. Both seniors, though. We're gonna lose a lot this season. This will be probably the biggest departure of players that we'll have. Oh my god, we're number two in the nation? That's kind of shocking to me. Losing to Washington, but still being second in the nation? At the same time, we do have some massive wins. A win against Notre Dame and a win against Oregon reflects really, really well on us. Ironically, though, we're actually sixth in the Big Ten, but second in the nation. Purdue, Rutgers, USC, Iowa, and Michigan all in front of us. We do have Michigan on the schedule this season. I don't think we have any of those other teams, though. Top 25 is Clemson, Michigan State, Purdue, Kansas State, and Texas A&M. That's an interesting top five. Next episode, we'll take on a UCLA team. We'll stay on top of recruiting to see if we can land an awesome quarterback for our future since Aiden Childs is out of here. But as of right now, this is the best that Michigan State has ever looked. We're all the way up to a four-star program with an 86 overall. Everybody is playing incredibly so far this season, and morale is very high for the Spartans. Also, I've been talking a lot about John Dragos. Alessio Milovecevic? There's no way I got that right. Alessio, look at the ceiling on this dude. Accuracy could get maxed. Quickness could be damn near maxed. His IQ can only go so high, but who cares? This dude might be the future. He's only a sophomore right now. So he'll be a junior next season. We'd get two good years out of him, but his ceiling is incredibly high. So maybe I don't have to worry about quarterbacks too much. It's really interesting how the ceiling works on these players. Joey Morrison's a four-star freshman quarterback. His accuracy can only go so high. His quickness can only go so high. Whereas Alessio was just topped out. Both of them are field generals, so I, I don't know what determines that. All right, gentlemen, awesome episode. Let's close the season out strong. Let's win a Big Ten championship and go to the college football playoffs. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.